All right, today we're doing meatballs. A uh, viewer request, actually many viewer requested this uh, recipe, and it's really easy, as all my recipes are, or at least I say they are. That's a third of a cup of plain dry breadcrumb that we are going to moisten with a half a cup of milk. So give that a stir, let that sit for about 20 minutes. In fact, while you saute your onions I'm about to show you, that will turn into a nice paste that's going to help bind the meatball, and also that milk, the enzymes and the acids are going to actually uh, make for a nice tender meatball. So there's my one onion that I finely chopped and some olive oil, a couple tablespoons. The rest of the stuff, a couple eggs. Now I like a lot of parsley. If I'm you, and this is the first time you're making this, use about half that. So I'd use a quarter cup if I was you. I'm going to use a half a cup. I'm a parsley person. Uh, that's three or four cloves of crushed garlic. That's about a teaspoon of dry Italian herbs, the classic dry Italian herb mix, the rosemary, the thyme, the basil, the oregano, the marjoram, and so forth. A couple tablespoons of grated Parmesan. That's optional, but I like it. And salt and pepper. Okay, now salt. The rule of thumb when you're making sausage and meatball, about a teaspoon to a teaspoon and a half per pound of meat. So that's what I went with. So it was about two teaspoons of salt, pepper, a little cayenne. I like half pork, half beef, so I got one pound of each, and I'm just going to mix those together. Nice, uh, don't be too uh, aggressive here. We just want to kind of mix the, the beef and the pork together. Since we still have to mix this with the other ingredients, we don't want it overmixed, overworked, it would get tough. So just mix those till they come together. So again, that's one pound of beef, one pound of pork, and I use the 80-20, 80% lean to 20% fat. Uh, you need a little fat. There's no way around it. I know they sell that stuff like 95% lean now. Uh, you can use it. It just won't be as succulent. So in about 20 minutes, my onions were lightly sautéed. All right. I added my breadcrumb and milk mixture, which in the same amount of time, it turned into a nice paste. All right. And again, the onions don't have to be cold. Once you sauté them, as long as they're not hot, you're fine. So add that to the the one pound of uh, beef and the one pound of pork, the onion and the breadcrumb mixture, and then the rest of the stuff goes in. Okay, so we're going to go through the two eggs. I just give them a light little mixing with a fork. My half a cup of parsley. Again, that's more than standard. I would probably go with half that if this is the first time you're making this. I do like a lot of parsley. Uh, three or four cloves of crushed garlic. That's not optional. All right. So if you're not going to use the garlic. Don't bother making these. Go make something else. Uh, maybe cereal. All right, and then we're going to add my Parmesan. That is optional. Some people can't have cheese. All right, my salt pepper mixture. Again, I gave it a shake of uh, cayenne pepper, about a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and uh, just over two teaspoons of salt. Now, a lot of people, traditional Italian type people, they put their hand in this and they mix it up and they smash it and it gets all between their fingers. And I got to admit, it does feel good, but your hand is hot and I don't want to introduce any heat into this uh, at this point okay so I just want to give this a mix with my spatula or my uh, my wooden spoon if you have to I just want this mixing enough just till it comes together you don't want to overwork it and you can tell you can see when it's uh, pretty much there okay which is right about there so why am I still mixing it I don't know I should stop okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put plastic wrap over this and we're going to put it in the fridge. See, it's really soft now. I want it to firm up a little bit. I think it's easier to form. So you could start making meatballs now, but I think you should put it in the fridge for an hour. Come on, you can wait. You're probably making your sauce anyway. All right, hour later. It's been chilled. It's going to be easier to work with. Now when you roll these meatballs in your hands, you can use an ice cream scoop, by the way. I didn't. I couldn't find mine. But if you're going to roll them with your hands, which is traditional, yeah, you should use wet fingers. So get a nice little ramekin of cold water, dip your fingers in there, give those meatballs a little roll. I go with just slightly larger than golf ball size. Now I've done extensive scientific studies on the perfect meatball size. And um, this is the size I've come up with as the perfect size. Now why for me this is the perfect size, I'm going to show you in a second. I'm going to put those on a slightly oiled, foil-covered half sheet pan. And when I was done rolling, or balling if you prefer, I had exactly 30 golf ball-sized meatballs on that sheet pan. 
with just enough space between them. So for me, for a two pound batch, you make them that size, you use it all, works beautiful. Okay, so there's so some kitchen math there for you. So again, you make them as big as you want, I don't care, but that's my official Chef John meatball size. I, I don't fry mine, I bake them. I put them in a very hot oven, 425, for about 15 to 20 minutes, just till the outside gets a nice little brown going. All right, and then the rest is easy. Add it to your favorite tomato or spaghetti sauce and let them simmer. I go on low, simmer it on low for about an hour, and you're ready to eat. Some people, again, controversy. Some people, oh, you got to simmer three or four hours. Then they're nice and tender. Well, it probably works. Now nah, you don't have to simmer it, only maybe 10, 15 minutes. Fine. I'm not going to argue with these people. I simmer mine for about an hour, sometimes a little longer, on low. And again, if you're not going to use a really, really nice, flavorful, beautiful spaghetti sauce, you know, then your meatballs, it's actually going to suck the flavor out of the meatball. So I want you to use a really nice spaghetti sauce when you make your meatballs. That's what's one of the keys. And of course, I'll do that demo on the site. But there we go. Today was just about the meatball. Uh, for photography purposes, of course, I had to grate some Parmesan on and uh, throw a few uh, pieces of parsley on top. But anyway, uh, that is my version of Italian meatball. Um, very nice, very tasty. Uh, I'm not going to say that's a spicy meatball because that would be a cliche. And anyway, the best thing about these, the leftovers, hot meatball sandwiches. Come on, forget about it. There you go, foodwishes.com. I hope you're checking it out. You'll see the recipe, the story, any anecdotes, and the extra info you need, along with the uh, ingredient amounts. Um, we haven't been posting in a while. Busy setting up the site, but here we go. We're back in business. Enjoy. <laughs>